This app adds many new, fully customizable gestures to your Mac. It offers tons of functionality to automate your system and customize various input devices. For example, define keyboard shortcuts, customize your touch bar, yeah, the touch bar, but most importantly, it lets you add custom gestures to your magic mouse or the magic trackpad. You can take any trackpad gesture that you don't really use, for example, the swipe with three fingers, and you can set it up in a way that the three finger swipe acts as a command plus left or right arrow key on your keyboard. And now when you swipe with three fingers on your trackpad, you will be able to go back and forth in your browser tabs. More and more people are trying out the new powerful Macs, and some of them obviously dip their toes into the Mac universe from the world of Windows. This app makes it easy to go through that transition. It makes the ever so popular Alt plus Tab keyboard shortcut that lets you switch between apps on Windows also available on Mac. It also brings the power of Windows's Alt plus Tab window switcher to Mac OS by replacing the original Command plus Tab switcher on Mac. The new switcher shows longer app names and image previews just like on Windows. This app is similar to the app Pocket. It lets you save and store articles for reading them later, and it doesn't matter if you are offline or on the go. The app also strips away all the clutter from your articles and saves the content of web pages into an iOS optimized format. It's quite handy if you want to read something on airplanes, subways, elevators or anywhere else away from internet connection. There are many expensive translation apps out there, like Mate, with fancy functionalities like Netflix subtitles and highlighted word translations on the spot. However, if you are looking for something more lightweight that lives on your menu bar, here's a simple functional translation app. Translations in this app are done by presenting a simple web view of your preferred translator, like Google Translate, in your menu bar so you can basically access and perform quick translations right here on your Mac's desktop. This app is another alternative like Alfred or Raycast for Spotlight. However, it's not a free alternative, though it has a 30-day free trial. Just like many other app launchers out there, it doesn't lack features. You just have to decide which one of them suits your needs the best. The app lets you access applications and documents by typing short abbreviations, manage your events and reminders, perform desktop or web searches, sort out your clipboard history, run scripts and much more. The first app is HyperKey. It's surprisingly easy to run out of good, unique keyboard shortcuts that do not interfere with other applications and this app allows you to do just that. It adds an extra modifier key to your Mac. You can replace a pretty much useless caps lock key on your keyboard with one that acts as an additional modifier that you can use in all of your apps that have keyboard shortcuts. This replacement key for caps lock acts like the option, shift, command and control keys on your keyboard so you can use it to set up and perform virtually any custom shortcut on any application on your MacBook. IntelliDoc we all have our preference if we hide the dock on Mac or keep it visible at all times. However, this free app introduces a cool middle ground. It hides the dock when it's overlapped by a window. That way, you are able to see and use the dock when you need it without compromising that valuable MacBook screen real estate when you don't. The app also lets you adjust the distance at which the dock starts to hide itself. Meter. This handy productivity app lives in your menu bar and it allows you to easily join your upcoming Zoom, Microsoft Teams or Hangouts meetings and call your contacts without having to navigate those apps separately. Little snitch. Did you know that as soon as you are connected to the internet, applications can potentially send whatever they want to wherever they want? Most often, they do this for your benefit. But sometimes, like in the case of tracking software or malware, they don't. And the worst thing is that you can't even notice anything. 
So this app makes these internet connections visible and puts you back in control. It shows you which websites your apps are accessing and lets you decide whether you want to allow for that connection to happen or not. Solver. This is a notepad calculator app for Mac. It's a notepad that gives instant answers to calculations in your text. You describe your problem in simple, easy to understand words and the app will interpret your sentences and return the calculation results. It really shines when you use it to explore different scenarios and experiment with numbers. You can use words and numbers alongside each other and you almost never encounter an error. All your work is also automatically saved for you so you can reference it later. Self-control will help you stop procrastinating. It's a free and open source Mac app that can temporarily block access to time-wasting websites. Just set a period of time to block for, add sites to your block list, and click start. Until the timer expires, you will not be able to access those sites even if you restart your computer or delete the application. Now the Batteries app will display all of your device's batteries on your Mac. Yes, even your iPhones. And Lungo will keep your Mac awake for a set period of time. Whether it's a presentation, a video, or a recipe you need to keep open, the app keeps your Mac awake until you've finished what you're working on. What's even better is Mosaic, which will let you effortlessly resize and reposition windows on your Mac with a simple drag and drop seamlessly integrated into macOS. The app also has support for shortcut keys and touch bar. And multi-touch will allow you to add custom, powerful gestures to your Mac. As an example, you can add a middle-click gesture to your Mac's trackpad, which is useful for closing and opening tabs and links in your browser without having to right-click or press on the tiny X icon. Moss Trackpad on a Mac is a wonderful thing, but using your Mac with an external mouse might conflict with the trackpad. If you're someone who uses an external mouse but still can't let go of the trackpad for those handy gestures, this app will greatly improve your quality of life. Moss enables smooth scrolling everywhere and lets you change the scroll direction for your mouse independently of the trackpad. So when you have this app installed, your MacBook treats treats your external mouse and the trackpad as two separate mouse controllers rather than one. And that's why you're able to customize how each of them behave. Mimestream we all know that there is no official Gmail app for Mac, so an app like Mimestream is a great workaround. It supports everything that Gmail does in a browser, and at the time of recording this video, you can try the app for completely free because it's still in beta. Speedness. If you move around a lot with your MacBook, this app will help you make sure that you have the best internet connection possible. It's a lightweight utility that simply lets you check up on your internet upload and download speed. According to the app's developer, it's better than the speedtest.net website that we all know because it reflects the real-life scenario better rather than showing you the most optimal scenario for your internet connection. Amphetamine. Amphetamine can keep your Mac and displays connected to your Mac awake through a super simple on and off switch in your menu bar. Whenever you need your Mac to stay awake, maybe when you're uploading something, rendering a video or just transferring files, just turn on Amphetamine and you will not have to worry about your Mac going to sleep and ruining whatever it was that you were doing. Raycast this app is a much better alternative than Alfred for Spotlight. It's extremely lightweight, however, it doesn't lag features. You can search and play Spotify, access clipboard history, check your schedule, and much more. It's also free and open source, not like some other Spotlight alternatives out there. The first app is Background Music. It's a lightweight audio utility app. It allows you to control your volume per application. So if you want to make Spotify quieter and leave YouTube on the same audio level, it's really simple to do with Background Music. You can also use this app to auto-pause Spotify when another volume is playing, which is a really handy feature for Spotify listeners since now you do not have to bring up Spotify and click pause every time you want to pause the song that you're listening to. 
Next up is Be Focused. It's a simple timer app that allows you to focus and accomplish your tasks faster and more efficiently. To use it, just come up to the menu bar and here you can set the timer to be as long as you want. You can set it to 5 or 50 minutes, whatever fits your needs. Then just press start and the timer will appear in your menu bar, letting you know how much time is left for you to complete your task. Once the timer ends, the app will tell you to take a much needed break. The final app is Flotato. This app allows you to turn any website out there into a separate standalone app. It also gives you some presets. To download a preset, all you have to do is just click Get and a mobile app that is otherwise not accessible on your Mac will now be a standalone app. When you open it, a new window will show up in a vertical format and let you use the app on your Mac just like you would on your iPhone. This app is a really straightforward tool that lets you achieve a chosen mind state by generating what are known as binaural beat audio waves. Depending on the frequency of the sound that you pick, it can potentially help with sleep, meditation, relaxation, or even forgetting a short burst of energy. There's also a chart included in the app that helps you pick the perfect sound frequency. This app lives in the menu bar and all it does is it lets you check if your camera is working with one simple click. It could be useful when you want to join a Zoom call but want to check your face first or make sure nothing's too embarrassing in the frame behind you. Day 1 is a journaling app. It offers an extremely simple user interface, but at the same time, it is packed with features. Every day you can write something about how your day went in the app and later quickly revisit every moment of your past. When you open the app, it has a normal text window field for your journal entry, which makes journaling as easy as composing a tweet. But you can also add photos, videos, drawings, audio recordings, and even timestamp what the weather was for that day. This app is geared more towards creative professionals, like designers and developers. It's a better color picker for your Mac that comes with a lot of handy features. It lets you collect, organize and edit colors. You can create custom color palettes and share them with friends, as well as have a little color dock that pops up at the edge of your screen, letting you quickly access your color palettes without losing focus of what you were working on. This app is the replacement for the Apple Notes app. If you are looking for a more feature-rich note-taking app, Drafts is something you should consider. It excels in how fast it is, especially when opening up a new note. You can also go hands-free with dictation. Drafts lets you get things down before you forget without fiddling with folders and naming your notes. The app One Thing is a tiny utility that will let you put any one line of text in your menu bar. This text could be something inspirational, a high-priority task, or anything you want to keep in your mind every time you glance to the top corner of your MacBook. Now Dozer is a completely free alternative for the very popular Bartender app which costs $15. It lets you change positions and hide icons on your MacBook's menu bar. And if you're a productivity freak, Middle is a tiny app that adds a middle-click gesture to your Mac's trackpad, which is useful for closing and opening tabs and links in your browser without having to right-click or press on the tiny X icon every time. What's even better is if you have a cluttered up desktop that doesn't let you breathe, Hidden Me will let you hide all of your icons with one custom keyboard shortcut or a simple click from your menu bar. Now Keylime Pi Keystrokes is great for those times when you are recording tutorials and other videos which benefit from showing keystrokes on the screen. You know those side buttons on your mouse? Yeah, they usually don't work that well with macOS, and this app fixes that. Now you can use your proper back and forward functionality on your external mouse. A free Mac app that makes typing emoji faster and easier using Slack-style shortcuts. It allows you to just start typing an emoji, like colon 
thumbs up and this app will help auto complete it in any other app. With the paid version of the app, you can also add GIFs, snippets and symbols to your shortcuts. This app is a great way to control your max audio. Although a bit on the pricier side, it allows for fast access to your system devices like your microphone and speakers for better control of your max output input and sound. It also has per application audio control, lets you customize your sound with effects and even lets you send individual apps to different audio outputs. This is an open source file archiver app for Mac just like WinRAR on PC. It has more handy features than the default one, letting you compress a file without even opening the app. Just drag and drop your files and folders to the dock icon or the app's window to create slimmer versions of them. The app also lets you secure your files by allowing you to set a custom encrypted password. And what can also happen sometimes is that you need to do a little bit of video editing. In that case, look no further than DaVinci Resolve. It's a professional video editing software for Mac, Windows and Linux. The light version is free, which makes it the only advanced video editing software that you can get for free. Although the interface might seem a little scary at first, but when you get used to it, you will find it simple to edit, color grade or finish virtually any format. The Taiki app adds a little handy scratch paper to your MacBook that lives on your menu bar. Here you can paste something that you don't want to forget or jot down some of your thoughts. What's even better is the Hidden Bar app, which is similar to Barthender. The only difference is that it's free. It lets you hide menu bar items to give your Mac a cleaner look. Now Keypad is a free utility for Mac that lets you share and use your magic keyboard and mouse with your iPhone and tablet. It pairs to your devices via Bluetooth and allows you to type on your devices with an actual keyboard and not with your thumbs. Speaking of simple apps, Mission Control Plus adds a nifty little feature that lets you close windows straight from Mission Control. Whereas before, if you wanted to close a Mac app normally, you would have to launch Mission Control, then go to the app and hit Command plus Q. And now all you have to do is click the X icon. What's also cool is Image Optim, which is a handy tool that lets you optimize images by reducing their file size without compromising quality and removing bloated metadata that images usually come with. The first app is Mackie, which is a simple yet functional clipboard manager which does one simple thing. It keeps your copy history at hand whenever you need it without overloading you with unnecessary features. Now the latest app lets you check up on the apps that you have already installed on your MacBook. It's an open source app that shows you if all of your apps are up to date and if not, it lets you update them and also shows you what features changed in the update. What's also useful is Adblocker for Safari, which is more of an extension rather than an app, so you no longer have to watch those unskippable ads on YouTube. What's even better is clean Screenshot X, which is a screen capture utility for Mac, but on steroids. It lets you pixelate sensitive information in your screenshots, create screen recording GIFs, capture scrollable content which doesn't fit on your screen, and much more. And Vanilla is a free alternative for the very popular Barthender app which lets you hide menu bar icons on your Mac. What's cool is that it's also compatible with MacBooks that have a notch. We all know that Windows users have it much better when it comes to built-in window snapping functionality. So this app brings that over to Mac and lets you manage your window positions just like you would on a Windows PC. It even has the latest Windows' Snap Layouts feature built in. And if you have your MacBook hooked up to an external monitor, then you'll love this app. It lets you get rid of the most annoying thing with external monitors, the brightness controls. The app lives in your menu bar and lets you control your external monitor's brightness and volume. Now if you have AirBuddy installed, when you open your AirPods case next to your Mac, you will see 
update the status right away, just like it works on your iPhone or iPad. The app also lives in your menu bar and allows you to view your battery information for your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch and other peripherals like your mouse and keyboard. This app is a really fancy focus timer which helps you be more mindful by blocking distractions and tracking your progress. You can use the app for free but there's also a subscription plan which adds tons more features. But if you only need the timer functionality that it offers, I will show you how to find free alternatives at the end of the video. Speaking of distractions, if you have too many windows open or have a large cluttered up display where things are always getting lost, this app automatically highlights the front window by fading out all the background windows to help you focus better on the task at hand. With this app, you will not have to minimize or close windows since the clutter will no longer bother you because the windows will be dimmed out. Top notch. We can all admit that sometimes Apple's design decisions aren't the most pleasing. Of course, I'm talking about the notch on the new MacBooks. And that's where the Top Notch app comes in. This purely cosmetic app is really simple. It just makes everything on your menu bar dark so you can't notice the notch anymore. But you might not have the new Mac yet. However, I found that having the menu bar dark on a notchless device is still a great feature. Paste. If you've ever forgotten to paste something important that you copied and then copied another thing on top of it, you know how bad it feels. That's where paste comes in. It's like a time machine for your clipboard that lets you instantly find any text, link, image or file you've ever copied on any of your devices including your Mac, iPhone and iPad. You can quickly find that presentation link from that old email or anything else you copied a long time ago using the search functionality. Pop clip. When you select some text on your iPhone, a submenu appears above the text that lets you copy, paste and do various other actions. Pop clip adds a really similar functionality to your Mac. When you select any piece of text with your mouse, a submenu will appear that lets you instantly copy and paste, access actions like search, spelling, dictionary and over 200 more. I found that this app is really useful when you don't have your hand on the keyboard and just want to navigate your Mac with a mouse. Hazel. If you're tired of keeping your Mac organized by always having to drag folders into Finder and rename stuff or create new subfolders, then Hazel is for you. This app lets you automate your Mac's folder organization. Hazel watches whatever folders you tell it to, automatically organizing your files according to the rules you create. You can have Hazel move files around based on name, date, type, even what site it came from. It can automatically sort your movies or file your bills. iStat Menus This app is a configurable set of menu bar items that let you know exactly what's going on inside your Mac. The app covers a huge range of stats, including a CPU monitor, GPU, memory, network usage, disk usage, disk activity, date and time, battery, and more. All in a highly optimized and low resource package. SlidePad. It's a slide over browser for your Mac. It basically introduces the slide over feature from the iPad to your Mac. You don't have to switch between different application windows to access the information that you want. Just slide your mouse from the side of the screen and the window of another app will open up in the slide over. This app is amazing for those who only have to rely on one monitor. Cheat Sheet. It's a very powerful utility that will boost your productivity on a Mac by allowing you to easily view the keyboard shortcuts in the application being used. It's a lifesaver when trying to learn or use a new software that you don't know the keyboard shortcuts to. Just hold the option key a bit longer to get a list of all active shortcuts of the current application. It's as simple as that. The next app is Better Snap Tool. 
It comes with very useful features that enhance your MacBook's multitasking abilities and it's really easy to use. It allows you to effortlessly manage your window positions and sizes with simple and customizable keyboard shortcuts and snap layouts. It basically takes window snapping features from Windows 11 and applies them to your MacBook. Jarvis. It's an AI article writing tool which will write surprisingly good articles using artificial intelligence. It can write new articles, rewrite sentences, check for plagiarism, rephrase text to make it easier to understand and accomplish much more. Although it has a monthly subscription fee, if you do this type of work on the daily, then the app is more than worth it. It makes it fast and easy to create content for your blog, social media, your website and more. PDF Expert it's a great tool for editing PDFs. You can easily replace text or images within your PDF, merge multiple PDFs together, extract pages, play around with the file size, and so on. OneSwitch OneSwitch is a little menu bar app that gives easy access to a bunch of handy features and it keeps all your powerful switches in one place. The app gives you quick switches for things like hiding desktop icons, keeping your Mac awake, muting your microphone and so on. It makes getting around these settings quicker and easier rather than having to dig through the default macOS settings to find them. Unclutter Unclutter improves productivity and combines a sweet and simple workflow that fits most Mac users. It gives you a handy place on your desktop for storing notes, files and clipboard items. All you do when you have this app is just move your mouse to the menu bar at the top of your screen and you're able to drag your files there, add notes and see clipboard history. For anyone that's always on the go on their Mac and constantly working, this Mac app will change your life. Timing Timing saves you time by automatically tracking your time. It logs apps, websites and documents. The app shows which apps you use and how productive you are with your time. It can also help you build time and do start and stop timers. You can do more than just tracking how much time you spend on certain apps. For example, the app lets you have a time blocking calendar. You can assign your time via drag and drop, then use the timeline's smart suggestions to combine blocks of time that belong together. Final Cut Pro Final Cut Pro is a video editing software that was developed by Apple. It allows users to edit videos and create video projects using a wide range of formats, titles, transitions and effects. Final Cut Pro is compatible with any camera format which makes it possible for users to import any type of footage into Final Cut Pro. This app also includes built-in video transitions that can be quickly applied during post-production. It offers a wide range of advanced editing tools such as advanced color correction, multi-track audio support and support for third-party plugins. Drop Zone. Drop Zone is a productivity app for Mac that makes it faster and easier to move and copy files, launch applications, upload to many different servers and more. It lives in the menu bar and all you do is drag a file to the top of your screen and a window with various actions and most used folder locations will open up. Now you can choose which action you want to perform with the file or where you want to move it. The first app is Ina, a modern media player for macOS. It basically replaces QuickTime or VLC. It has a really similar design to QuickTime to keep up with the theme of iOS, but it can handle a lot more file types than QuickTime and is easier to use with much more functionality. It's basically QuickTime, but on steroids. The next app is Dropover. Dropover is a utility that makes drag and drop easier. Use it to stash, gather or move any draggable content without having to open side-by-side -side windows. It works with all sorts of file types, text, images from the web and so on. You can simply store files here to do something with them later. It provides an easy to access storage shelf for your Mac that allows you to stash any draggable content. This app floats on top of your other windows. Just shake your mouse cursor or hold the shift key during drag and drop whatever you're dragging into the shelf that appears nearby the cursor. This is Pixel Snap and it lets you measure anything on your screen in pixels. Of course, I myself find little to no use case for such an app. 
especially for $40. But nevertheless, it lets you measure objects by magically snapping to them, add snappable guides and even take perfectly aligned screenshots. Text Sniper Text Sniper is a small purchase that will quickly make up for the cost as you use it over and over again. It allows you to extract text from images and other digital documents in seconds using a quick keyboard shortcut. Text Sniper solves the need to deal with PDFs by automatically capturing, copying and pasting text from online sources. Some of the best sources for this app are YouTube videos, PDFs, images, online courses, screenshots and presentations. All of which can be found all over the internet. Todoist Todoist has a really clean and simple design that provides a three-tab inbox style layout of your task lists. You can use this to organize tasks by due date, project or just how long it will take. Todoist offers a robust free version if you don't feel like paying for the more team-oriented premium and business subscriptions at $3 and $5 a month respectively. Bartender the Mac menu bar can be a powerful tool for increased productivity, but it's vital that you manage its functions correctly. And that's where an app like Bartender comes in. This app lets you put an icon of your favorite apps right on top of your screen for quick access. You can even set up a keyboard shortcut for each one, so clicking on an icon will automatically open that app. It's a really simple app costing $15 once to own it forever. It offers a surprisingly powerful amount of customization to an often overlooked part of macOS. VLC Every Mac user needs a solid video playback app, and there's nothing better than VLC. VLC is an open source and free app that started way back in 2001. VLC has support for many file types, making it great for playing videos, including virtually any audio or video compression method. If you're trying to play an obscure video file or convert a file from .avi or .mkv to .mp4, VLC has you covered. Fantastical Fantastical is one of the best calendar apps out there. If you're looking for better macOS calendar experience, then this app is the best one to use. It's lightning fast for creating new events, it lets you quickly join video meetings, includes the weather and much more. It syncs with calendars from iCloud, Google, Microsoft Exchange, Outlook, Office 365 and Yahoo. If you want to replace the calendar on your iPhone and iPad, you should know that there's also a fantastical version available there as well. Airmail for those who don't really like the design of the native macOS mail app, AirMail 3 is about as close as you can get to a clean, Gmail-style interface on an Apple desktop. Yes, this app is expensive at $27, but it can be a nice way to avoid those monthly subscription prices that other Gmail apps have. Starting things off is the Yoink app, which is a drag-and-drop utility for Mac that helps move files, apps and anything that can be dragged to a different location. It adds a shelf where you can place your files and then when you navigate to your desired destination, you can transfer them there from your shelf. Moving over to Mission Control Plus, which adds a nifty little X to all of your apps and lets you close windows straight from Mission Control. Whereas by default, if you want to close out a Mac app, you have to launch Mission Control, then go to that app and hit Command plus Q. Now the next app is Luminar, and it's a photo editing software that has many AI features and professional presets to improve the look of your photos without having to have a ton of knowledge about photo editing. And iStat Menus is a utility that adds a configurable set of menu bar items that lets you know exactly what's going on inside your MacBook. The app covers a huge range of stats, including a GPU monitor, CPU, memory and much more. Continuing with the Swish app, which adds swipeable gestures to your magic trackpad that lets you move, resize and position 
Action application windows on your MacBook's monitor. It adds two finger swiping gestures that, after learning, will triple your multitasking abilities with macOS. Now, if you're not so satisfied with the default screenshot utility on Mac, CleanShot X will take it to the extreme by letting you pixelate sensitive information in your screenshots, create screen recording GIFs, capture scrollable content which doesn't fit on your screen, and much more. The next app is Display Buddy, which for those of you using an external monitor will adjust your monitor's display settings like brightness and volume directly from your menu bar. What's also useful is the Drop Zone app, which brings everyday productivity shortcuts to your Mac removing the friction of standard operating systems. You can set up your frequently used tasks in the drop zone interface, then simply drag and drop files into the shortcut icons to perform them. Now the To Do app is, well, a To Do app. This versatile Mac task manager lets you pick and choose from a range of tools and options using the ones that suit your workflow best and leaving the others aside. Speaking of managers, Mosaic is a window manager which will let you effortlessly resize and reposition windows on your Mac with a simple drag and drop seamlessly integrated into macOS. You could pair this with the Swish app I showed you earlier to create an impossibly effective window management system. SlidePad could also be a useful utility for that system because it's a lightweight browser that brings the functionality of iPad-style multitasking to your Mac's screen. You can slide in and out to get access to websites or web apps you use, jot down messages, and check up on your to-do lists instantly. Speaking of to-do lists, Do is a simple utility that helps quickly set up reminders and countdown timers on Mac. And best of all, it takes only a few clicks or taps to act on your reminders. Moving over to Bartender that is a slick utility app and a one-stop menu bar organizer for Mac. It helps to organize, search, and actually use your Mac's menu bar icons while also keeping your desktop tidy. Now the Numi app takes the calculator on Mac to a whole different level. It allows you to describe tasks the natural way and instantly get an accurate answer. Continuing with repeat, which helps you start new habits and most importantly stick to them. It's a habit tracker that tracks your streaks, adds in achievements to the mix and even lets you share your habit progress with others to make you more accountable. Now for those of you that speak more than one language, it's useful to have a translator app at hand. And Mate Translate is honestly more than enough with its quick access from the menu bar and the full offline history of translations. Moving over to Side Notes, which is a sidebar app that covers one side of your Mac's screen with notes. You can hide it whenever you don't want to see it, but it's always there a click away so you can jot down anything from text to code and images. Moving over to Unite, which is an app that turns websites into into apps. For example, as you probably know, there is no such a thing as a native Netflix or YouTube app for your Mac. So with the help of Unite, you'll be able to turn those pages into standalone apps that you can then access from your dock. Now this is Al Dente, which helps extend the life of your MacBook's battery with an interesting concept. You've probably heard that lithium-ion and polymer batteries, like the one in your MacBook, last the longest when operating between 20 and 80%. Keeping your battery at 100 most of the time will significantly shorten the lifespan of the battery. So what this app does is it sets a more healthy charging range and doesn't allow for your battery to charge up to a full 100%. Another interesting app is Touch Retouch, which apart from having a really nice logo and a steep price point, lets you remove objects from your images and repair blemishes. It's Photoshop's spot healing brush tool but in a separate application of its own and without anything else. 
The next app is Timeout, which is free and it reminds you to take a break. When your break begins, your screen turns into a large Timeout icon where you can choose to postpone it or skip it entirely. The app has two kinds of breaks, a normal one, which typically lasts for 10 minutes after 50 minutes of work so you can relax, plus a micro break, which is a very brief pause of typically 10 seconds every 10 minutes, so you can rem Remember not to tense up too much for long periods. Moving on to diagrams, which lets you create beautiful, structured diagrams. The app is straightforward in what it aims to do, so you don't have to spend time trying to understand how it works. Now the Pomatroid app is a simple Pomodoro timer. It has every single timer feature that you would expect from a Pomodoro app, but also lets you customize various settings and even has different color themes built in to suit even the light theme users. And this is the Chronicle app that lets you track your bills and subscriptions so you never miss to pay them again. With the free version, you can add your bills to the app and set their due dates and when the time comes, the app will remind you to not be late to pay them. The next app is MindNote, which is very similar to diagrams, but it's designed for ideas. It lets you capture and organize your ideas into mind maps, but what impressed me the most is the nice animation when adding a new node to your mind map, which just magically snaps the new one to whichever node is the closest. That also makes creating new nodes very easy. What's also impressive is Downy, which makes it easy to download videos from the internet without having to browse shady MP4 converter websites. You just paste a link from a site like YouTube and you're able to download that video to your Mac.